Hello, this is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Today I want to show you a really cool telephone and this is Bud's Telephone from VA. And the name of this telephone is Impress. And so basically what's happened to this telephone is it was dropped. And so now he's got a note here and it says phone rings but cannot hear, dial tone, or speech. So basically he's getting nothing on the telephone. And we did try to ring it. This is the initial checkout and we're not getting a ring. And, you know, since it was dropped, there could be some other issues going on. Uh, where when in shipping it, you know, the bell quit working too. So basically we're going to try it out. We have it hooked up to the analyzer. And you can see that it sees the analyzer, but I should be able to give you dial tone and we don't get any. So we know it doesn't have any dial tone and it just hung up. So now the analyzer is not active and we'll try that again if you watch that red light. So we know it's hanging up. Let's go ahead and try to ring it. Every time you see this red light, it'll go through its ring cycle, and we're not getting a ring. So we'll let that go a couple more times. I'll let it go one more time. And now we want to answer the telephone. It seized the line but no dial tone. So now what we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and unplug this telephone and I want to give you a look at it since it's uh, the initial checkout. It has like a Western electric style handset to it and it's a very cool telephone. It almost reminds me of like say an Italian telephone basically because of the design and I have the telephone apart. Now what I want to do is show you the inside of this telephone. And this is the PC board that they have in the telephone. And what we want to do since we have to troubleshoot this telephone is I want to go ahead and cut the ties. We'll put some other ties on here. But that will allow us to get the board from the top of the telephone away a little further. We also have another tie here that we want to cut because I want to be able to troubleshoot this telephone out. We have some issues here that we need to work out and repair. So now that gives us uh, a little bit of a room to work. And it would have uh, a pretty normal uh, looking Western Electric style bell in it and then of course our PC board and our hook switch. So now what we're going to do is go ahead and troubleshoot this telephone. And we want to go through the board and make sure that all of our connections are proper and that uh, the PC board hasn't been, uh, some of the traces haven't been broke. So what we're going to do is take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now. And so we've been troubleshooting the bell circuit first. And I want to find out why that wasn't ringing because in Bud's note it says that the phone did ring. And now I know why the phone may have rang for him and now it doesn't ring. What we found here is here's some leads that uh, we have that run from the bell over to the network. Well, we know that this red wire was uh, one of the leads that they were using to the network. And so what we want to do here because I have my meter here and I'll put the light on so you can see the, the meter. That would be a short, so we're showing continuity. And what we know is if I measure across the two leads that they were using, I'm not getting anything. So now what I've done is I found our line that is no longer any good. And the one that is good, we're going to use another tap. You can see is reading 
some ohms there. So we know that this tap here is good, but this tap is not. And it's not the wire because the wire has continuity. So the tap is bad because on the little windings of the coil, it has broken away somewhere on the inside. The brick is not out here where you can see it. It's on the inside. And probably what was happening is it was making a connection even though it was broke, but copper wire uh, will expand and contract. And so basically what's happened is the two ends are no longer touching each other well enough to make a continuity so therefore the bell will not ring. And now we're using a different tap. So uh, we're going to go ahead and check the phone. So what we want to do, we want to go ahead and plug it into the analyzer. We can turn our meter off now and I'll ring the bell. I'll let it go two more times. We seized the analyzer. We should be getting dial tone, but we don't. And that's because we haven't repaired that issue yet. So now what we want to do is we want to get the bell circuit squared away and clean that up a little. And now we want to start troubleshooting why we don't have any transmit and receive. So we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now, and the issue with the receive and everything that was going on with the main PC board has been resolved now. So this telephone has basically been repaired, and we had to remount the board because there was a situation where some of the plastic standoffs had broke, so we actually had to put them back in and then drill holes in them and drive screws through them. So now our board is mounted nice and tight again, and we want to do some checks before we do our final checks before we put everything back together again. So we're going to go ahead and plug the telephone in, seize the analyzer, and I want to give you some dial tone. Now what I want to do is I just want to reach around and I want to dial a 2 and we'll dial a 1. We'll just walk through the keypad if you watch the analyzer. I want to end in a 2. We want to hang up. We want to reseize the line. Give you some dial tone. We want to take dial tone away, so I'll dial a 2. And I want to transmit into the handset. If you watch that red light on the analyzer, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So we'll be doing those checks again once we put everything back together again. So we'll take a short break and we'll be right back. Okay, we're back now and we are finished up with the repair of this telephone. We had to go through the network and straighten everything out that we didn't like at that situation. We went through the transmit and receive, took care of all those issues, repaired the bell, and then remounted the circuit board because that was actually broke free in the fall. And so, or someone took it apart to look at it and see what was going on, and the board had been removed, so we repaired the standoffs. So now we're ready to do our final checks. And I want to go ahead and ring the telephone. We'll let that go a few times. I'll let it go one more time. Give you some dial tone. If you watch the analyzer, we're going to walk through our numbers. I'm going to end in a 2. Now I want to transmit into the handset like earlier. So if you watch that red light on the analyzer, every time that red light lights up, that's an indication of 100% modulation on transmit. One, two, three, four, five, six, hello, hello. So we know that this telephone is dialing out, it's receiving, transmitting, and it rings in on a ring cycle 
we can go ahead and push this button on this analyzer and that'll give us a line out and totally take the analyzer out of the situation. We're going to call a time and temp number and there's going to be a hum in this recording. So the recording will start and then there will be a hum and the recording will continue. They're having problems with their equipment. It has nothing to do with what we're doing on this end. And so we'll go ahead and make that call. Give you some dial tone. Now that we know that this telephone is repaired, we can return it to Bud and he can start enjoying this telephone. It's been in their family for quite a while and they really enjoy this telephone. This is Dennis with A1 Telephone Service and Repair, A1 Electronics. You can reach us on the web at www.a1-telephone.com and you can also reach us at 618-235-6959. Thank you for watching and have a great day.